Yep. And think about and how you know much what you're else? going to appreciate travel in the future, you know? Oh, my God. Uh, you know, last time that I'm going to bitch about getting <laughs> on a cheap plane. Um, and I just, yeah, well, just think how amazing it's going to be when you can hug your friends again, when you can actually yeah. go out for dinner. I mean, the simple pleasures that we are going to appreciate so, so, so much, right? Yeah. Um, we are going to have time. We can do lots of things. I have seen the most extraordinary flowering of creativity over here mm -hmm. and I predict this for the whole world and people being very ingenious about how to continue you know like I said to you before I think we um I started off today with you know a yoga class with friends from Milan on zoom we then uh, went into um a kind of meditation circle that I've set up that I'm setting up uh, where we all in our different time zones get together every day and just meditate, send energy for ourselves, for everybody, for the planet, just as a way to keep our spirits up and keep the yeah. connection. Um, there is going to be at uh, oh, five o'clock, just in about 15 minutes, um, the, the Florentine, which is the English language daily in Florence that is brilliant. They have set up, I don't know how they've done this, but they've set up an incredible kind of resource on their um, through through their website where every day at five o'clock they have interviews and seminars and stuff with someone in English. You know, two days ago they had wine tasting. Mm -hmm. um, so they're keeping a daily arts and cultural program going as well when everyone is, you know, again, uh, thanks to the internet, everyone is able to hook up and actually the audience members are, you know, so the people are able to interact yeah um as well so there's many things the all the museums are, are doing virtual tours the uffizi has done a beautiful initiative whereby they've called it hashtag uffizi decameron now decameron was um written during the um during the black death during the plague and it tells the story of 10 friends who leave florence in the middle ages to go and hide in the hills in a lock-in to escape plague and uh, to pass the time, everyone has to tell 10 stories each. So based on this, the Uffizi has launched an initiative whereby every day they do a little video of one of their curators telling you the story of one of their paintings, one of their collection. Um, all sorts of film institutes have put lots of um, free content online. You know, everyone is responding. There's all sorts of groups, there's support, there's psychiatrists giving free um, sessions, for anxiety there is a lot of there is a lot of people trying to help each other out um and that's all really positive we all have our books to write we all have things to create all of that is really important but i just want to say a but it's really important to also use this time to rest and to have mm -hmm. self-care because again our mentality is the achieving one and as I say, day 11 in lockdown, you're beginning, beginning to find slightly that thing where you realize you don't have to do it today. <laughs> yeah. You, um, I mean, obviously, I'm a writer, so I can't give myself too much of that because that's just an excuse to procrastinate. But ordinary people. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Because you know what, Kelly? I realize that this isn't a holiday. It's not a retreat. There's something very real and very alarming happening to our planet and to our fellow humans, and that affects us. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think, you know, if you need to sleep 13 hours a day, if you need to have five naps during the day, do it. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. There is so much to process emotionally, spiritually, you know, also physically, people who are stuck at home. Um, here in Italy, you know, despite everything, they're still saying that in Milan, something like 40% of people are going around. Milan is an epicenter. It's literally exploding in Milan. The hospitals are close to breaking point. So it may be that there is going to be a new decree that restricts our movements even further so that people actually are not able to come outside of their homes. That's going to be very, very, very dramatic. Mm -hmm. Now, all of that kind of stuff, it takes a toll on us. And I think yeah. this is also an opportunity for us to get really in tune with ourselves mm -hmm. and to say, you know, the human, the human organism is suffering and that will have an effect on all of us individually too. So we should be nice to ourselves. We should rest. We should just rest. 
rest, 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 you know, rest and read, you know, sometimes close the screen, as you say, we too would wake up by the way in the morning and, and get into the news and never switch off again, right? Um, my husband quite likes being in that space, so <laughs> he's in that space. But I've also done like you, I've gone, okay, twice a day, I'm going to check what's going on. Because otherwise, because actually I was finding that whole days were flying by. Mm -hmm. And in between, in between, you know, Facebook updates and trying to understand if this is real and reading that article and, 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 you know, flicking on that to see if the numbers have gone up and what does that mean and how many people in your area and is this person safe? And then everybody, you know, messaging everyone, which actually the, the sociable thing has been really great. Yeah. Um, the time was just passing so I that's when I kind of also went yeah I need to I need to have a pause I need to limit also how many yeah how many news outlets I look at I've really streamlined it to a few that I really trust and to try and just go there um and then to try and again stay positive you know there's been lots of um virtual dinner parties virtual aperitivos we are all in touch you know you you suddenly get in touch with everyone you haven't heard from in ages so there is also right at the beginning there yeah. was also this kind of burst of joy because everybody was kind of talking to everyone um so I think yeah that's it this is all about lockdown really isn't it and I think that's okay right because I think this is this is what we're all living or we're going to be living really soon so um so those are my thoughts, you know, here those we are. are really, and I love that you brought up self-care because even, you know, there've been several different times where whether it's Steve or me, and we've just had a day where we get to the end of the day. And I don't think we're thinking of the, like you said, the emotional toll that deal all of us processing this. We need to be even more um, just from a self-care, but also taking time to rest because of the emotional toll, because of that, how that affects your health. That's how you stay strong physically, yeah. emotionally. Yeah. And, it, and it really is important. So there've been several yeah. times where, you know, la last night we went to bed at eight thirty or nine o'clock and. Oh my God, me too. <laughs> yeah. We let ourselves sleep in and, and these are yeah. the times that you can, I mean, you need to yeah. be strong, use technology to connect with other people you know, mend that rift with somebody that, you know, you haven't yeah. said you're sorry to. It's never a better yeah. time. These are the beautiful things that are sprouting yeah. out of this. And yeah. I think back to, you know, one of the things that I've had to learn is it's very easy to get angry at, you know, for example, yesterday, you know, there's all this news about all these, you know, 20 year olds who are on spring break and they didn't close the beaches in Florida. And there's these huge crowds and they're all like, I don't care if I get it. And I have to like remind myself, they don't know yet how dangerous yeah. they're being to other people. So when they do yeah. know, yeah. they're going to have a tremendous amount of guilt to deal with. Yeah. Nobody wants that for anybody, but changing yeah. the ability to see things from other people's perspective yeah. and to give people grace and compassion. And the best yeah. thing we can do is to educate and, and then embrace what we have to do if we have to be quarantined let's do it and let's make the most the most of it let's rest let's if we're in loving beautiful relationships like you and me we're wonderful if we're in then those people that aren't let's look out for them i mean there there is beauty that's budding out of all of this and we've we've hit our hour for today so here's what i want to do in closing and then we'll, re we'll we're going to schedule i think we just keep we're going to do that we're going to do the comedy we'll keep that's all there is to it. <laughs> but considering you guys are in Italy, you're a couple weeks ahead of us. And I think what you're seeing, what's happening over here, um, yeah. is a lot of the, the panic, the people going to the grocery stores, buying everything up, thinking that it's the end of the world. Yeah. Um, they ha there's, there's, there's only so much, like what's in the grocery store they think is that's it. And they have to buy it and they have to hoard it. And they're not thinking yeah. of other people. Yeah. So what, yeah. What advice do you give to people here who are going to watch this, you know, on yeah. Monday? Yeah. Because you've been there and you're past it. Yes. I would say don't panic. There is enough to go around. You're going to have to practice patience, but it's okay. You know, probably we all need to learn that. Um, look, we are 
as I say, uh, into the second week um, up in the north there into like week four or something, uh, supermarkets have not run out. Agriculture goes ahead. I'm living in an agricultural place. You know, people are working. Things are going forward. Um, food is being produced. So there is no need to panic on that level. I would say a really good tip is make sure that your pantry is stocked up and then sit down and plan your meals for five to seven days so that you go and you do intelligent shopping, okay? Mm. Um, and you get what you need. You don't just blindly grab everything that you think you might need one day. Oh, yeah. that's a great make idea. Sure, yeah, make sure you've got your basics, right? But then, you know, you've got your flour, your sugar, your pasta, your, you know, your store cupboard kind of your um, pantry basics. And then, um, and then I think you can see this little thing that she's down here. Where she, you see her? <laughs> she's hanging out with us. Uh, she's always here, aren't you, Tony? Um, she's so beautiful. Yeah, she's, she's my little spirit animal, aren't you, Jen? Come on, darling. She's always there. Um, so, yeah, I think planning meals can be your baby. There's, I, we write our books like you see we write our books she writes them um yeah planning your meals is a really good idea because then you know what you're aiming for we tend to have enough fresh food for about four or five days if we can um and then and then we kind of replenish because you know we don't want to have to go out too much even though you know you can go to the supermarket every day if you want to but you know the idea is to not you know, there were some experts from Wuhan over here um, and they were at the press conference of Lombardy yesterday and they were saying still too many people going around, still too many things open. You know, you don't. So we tend to think that's another one. So we tend to think that um, because Wuhan kind of got over it in, you know, it seems like yesterday they were coming out of their houses for the first time after six weeks. Right. Mm -hmm. So we think, OK, that's the trajectory. But Kelly, we have to remember they're in a communist authoritarian regime that is able to control its population and the population is obedient and able to be controlled. We are not like that. Yeah. So it's not to say that our trajectory is going to be the same as theirs. Yeah. So, so we really need to be mindful of this. So yeah, minimize going out as much as possible by careful planning of actually, you know, meals. And how often do we do that? I mean, isn't, isn't this again giving us an opportunity to get to the back of the pantry, you know? Yes. And to get out some of those things and to be creative with meals. Um, yeah, again, that's an, an opportunity for that. I would say remember things like shampoo, uh, skincare, you know, anything that you're going to need. Ladies, get all of your lady hygiene products in as well. Um, Think about that kind of thing. You know, don't don't be focused just on the food and the loo hole or whatever, but think about what is it that you need in your life over the next month or two. You know, food we'll be able to go out and get. Um, yeah, when Steve went to the yeah. grocery store recently, because I, I had said, I'm like, well, I'm just, we were cooking and I had about, I don't know, 10 days ago, a week or so ago. And, and I'm, I'm always a crazy stocker upper. I got that from my mom. Steve, may, Steve and I are the total opposite. If he, if I say go to the grocery store and get some green beans and I, that's the one vegetable I like canned, he'll bring home one can of green beans. If I go to the grocery store, I'll get 12. Now this is pre coronavirus. This is the way I've always been. I buy 17 of everything. He buys one of everything. <laughs> so I already stocked up and I bought stuff, but what we were short on was, um, protein and, you know, chicken and fish. Huh. And I said to him the other day, like two or three days ago, I said, I'm just worried about, we have all of this, you know, I bought lentils. I want to learn how to make lentils. I have rice, but will we be able to buy it? And he said that he had gone to the grocery store. He, he'd either gone to the grocery store or somebody that he knew had a son or daughter who worked at the grocery store. And basically what they said, and they wanted the American people to know, like, give us a break, we can restock. Like, it's not the end of the world. There will be food. There might be times that we, but like, you don't have to buy every pack of bread in the store. Um, buy some, and, and yes, I think it's teaching us to be creative. What a better time. Yeah. I'm taking out my Persian cookbook, which has like this <laughs> many pages and, and beautiful stories. And I'm learning to cook different things with vegetables. Amazing. And, 
and fish. Amazing. And, yeah. I mean, there, I saw last night, I posted on my Facebook page, there's this woman in Italy who's doing this grandmother who's going to be doing pasta cooking <laughs> class. Cooking with nonna. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So amazing. Yeah. I think it's amazing too. I think we've got to focus on the good. Yeah. And, you know, um, honor and acknowledge our fear and the horror and send love and compassion for the suffering and stay aware, Kelly, right? Stay aware, stay aware of our own reactions, how we're feeling, our own ups and downs, you know? Because, you know, we all want to strengthen our immune system right now, yeah? yeah? So we are doing various things that we do normally anyway. You know, we have our kind of green juice in the morning. I know you love your greens in the morning. <laughs> We've got our turmeric roots. You know, I'm now trying to work out how to maximize this turmeric root, which is going to run out. So how to use it better, you know, infuse things with it or whatever. Um, you know, exercise, of course yoga, breathing, meditation, all of that. But also remember, laughing is really good for the immune system. Um, and, you know, fear and stress and worry isn't. Yeah. So that constant connect and, and just remember, you know, the cathode ray tube and, and the backlits and the white screen, just remember screen time um, or does affect your hormones and your body and your system. So, so I think it's also good to make quite a conscious sort of effort to work with your own nervous system to keep it calm. Amen. What a great, yeah, so that's it. I, I we'll we'll that, have all those episodes on our show, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, and, and that's, I think that's a perfect thing to end on with the first one, because that's what we need to start focusing on is like you said, if, when you look at this virus for what it is, and they were actually just talking about this on, on the news that this, this is, it's If you get it, it's going to affect your respiratory system, your lungs. So the better that you can be, you know, having people who, who are smoking or vaping, all of that kind of stuff, like it's the greatest time for you to stop. And yeah. those of us that haven't been doing that, that have healthy lungs, Focus on, you know, not dosing in so much of the bad so that that's yeah. festering, but let's focus on positivity, laughter, joy, happiness, getting sleep, getting rest, telling people we love each other, being grateful for what we have. Because if we focus yeah. on that, that yeah. state of being is just as good as all the greens that we take in the morning and whatnot. And drink more champagne right now. It's good for you. Absolutely. You know what? Whatever. Just um, it's the love. Go for the love. Go for the love. Open your heart. Love your fellow human. I suddenly do. I just can't help it. You know, in lockdown, you see another human and you think, I love you. Yeah. Because we're the same. Yeah. We're That's all the it. same. We're the same. We're all the same. Girl, I'm giving you a hug from far away. <laughs> I will um, link up to your Instagram account and we're going to get this live early next week and I will follow up with you. We're going to schedule our next one and we will talk about the book because your book is, it changed my <laughs> life. It was actually, I just on a, on a last note, it was actually my man that bought your book first to read when we were going on vacation. And then I is stole that right? it from him and I read it and he's been the one who, he follows you and we both watch and we're, he's like, you've got to, he goes, now is the best time for the two of you. He said, I think you guys are going to have a great show. And he's, so, he's going to die when he sees this because now we're going to have the Common <laughs> and Kelly World Tour after the coronavirus. After the coronavirus oh, well, lets us all out. <laughs> well, tell Steve, he is obviously a man of very great taste, but this is clearly obvious. Yeah. <laughs> we, I, Thank we are you. so, um, I can't wait for him to see this. He loves you to death and love both ways. Hugs and I will see you soon. Namaste. To all of you, to everyone. Love Thanks. you.